Hello everybody, my name is Wayne Reaper and welcome back to The Sims 4 100 Baby Challenge. Today, uh, I believe Peggy is pregnant. It's been a while since I've played this. I've been doing some Stardew Valley if you want to check that out. We tried to hire a nanny last episode and I just realized he is actually here. He is on the third floor and it's like, what the heck? He never showed up. And suddenly here he is, he teleported to our third floor. So, that is uh, spoopy and also I'm gonna probably fire him. I don't know if I want to though. I kind of want Peggy to like use him as a donor eventually. Like look how good their relationship is. And I have literally never talked to him. So I was thinking he would be a good next or a future donor. But um, fortunately, I've had some donors made for me by Pretty Pretty Plume Bobs, so thank you so much. Uh, I really love both of them. So they're uh, two twins. I'm really excited to play with them, but I think Peggy is pregnant, so it's going to be a while. Yeah, she's um, almost in her third trimester. We'll definitely be giving birth this episode, but I'm thinking... Yeah, we, we should probably have Brian as one of the donors and then also at least one of those twins that she made for us. I really do like uh, one of them in particular. I'm not going to say which one yet, but I do think we should probably dismiss him just because I don't want to keep paying. We're not like the kids are in an okay mood. She needs some attention. She needs nothing. He needs nothing. So it's like, why have him around? Pickle Rick really needs to work on his skill uh, and probably his homework as well, but he's not in a great mood. He is energized though, so I think we could get him to do his logic skill. That would be really great. Um, also, I did realize though that research and debate is actually what you need to get the psychology degree. Uh, it would be good to get him to study that, but also I don't want to buy a machine or anything. That's kind of just like, eh. So that's where I'm at with that. We're just going to get him to do the logic skill. He could do like math or something else as well. Cecilia should be aging up this episode. I am super duper excited for that. Um, she only needs to get up her imagination movement and potty and potty is the furthest one. So I'm going to get her to just go ahead and go potty. Um, for some reason it says she's happy even though she's asleep. Um, I really do hope nobody passes away this episode because that always makes people super duper depressed. Last episode, Gwendolyn and Harrison, our absolute demon children, aged up into what I'm assuming are going to be very, very um, atrocious toddlers. So Gwendolyn, I've given her the monster pajamas as well as Harrison. I just think that makes sense because they're little monsters. They get little monster pajamas. But Gwendolyn is actually a goth toddler. So I think that's funny. And Harrison is like a gray kind of color. Just because Gwendolyn, I'm assuming, is going to be super hard to take care of. Whereas Harrison will be a little bit more decent because Gwendolyn is fussy. But yeah, that's basically where we're at. That was a bit of a long explanation. I just kind of excited to be back into the challenge. I think taking that little break with Stardew Valley has really helped. All right, so it is about 4 a.m. And Cecilia and Pickle Rick are hanging out. He is just helping her get her attention needs sorted out. And also just, I think I might get him to potty train her. Um, oh my, okay. And I think they're just cute together. They're already good friends uh, as like a teen and toddler, which is usually not uh, what ends up happening. Cecilia is really good with communication skill. I don't think I'm going to show very much of the school day. I might show Cecilia aging up. That'll probably happen fairly shortly. But other than that... I don't really think that there's much necessary to do. So she just has to get potty trained up and Peggy will give birth at some point and that's like the main things that are probably gonna happen. I think we could get Noelle and Pickle Rick potentially aged up, especially Noelle, but uh, that might take a bit of work. So it's almost school day. I'm gonna probably cut quite a bit ahead now. 
Yay, Cecilia reached potty level three, which means that we get to age her up. So I'm gonna get Peggy to make a cake. Uh, she should go to the bathroom first. She's been an absolute mess today, but I don't blame her. She's in her third trimester of pregnancy. So, you know, I, I think all things considered, she's doing great. But we're gonna make, I think a coconut cake. I don't know why that seems to suit Cecilia really well. I don't even remember what her trait is. She has been a great toddler, actually. She has decreased a lot of her character values as a toddler, though. But she hasn't actually been that hard to take care of. She's a charmer, so she doesn't have any bad traits, that's for sure. Makes sense why she got up her social skills so well as well. And Gwendolyn and uh, Harrison, I guess, are going to be our only toddlers for a little while. Hopefully, Peggy does not have, like twins and then we can't <laughs> like i don't know i feel like that'll just be a mess but uh how many do we even have in the household so she could potentially have twins there's only six i'm kind of hoping this time that she doesn't um the donor from the last episode i think yeah was a celebrity donor so she I'm just gonna have to repair that after. But yeah, so I don't remember even what his last name is. I know it's like this guy here. Chandran. Okay, so I just call him Addy because I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce his name. Uh, but he is the donor that we're currently pregnant with. So let's add some candles for the birthday girl. And Peggy, unfortunately, as dirty as she is, can age her up. So let's help Cecilia blow out the candles. The birthday girl. I'm so excited to see what she looks like as a kid. I feel like she's going to be so cute and beautiful. I'm going to add more candles because it's potential that Noelle could also age up. So here we are. Cecilia was a charmer and now she is self-assured. That fits her so well. And time to come up with her aspiration three. So she wants to have the motor skill just like Noelle. She is so cute. Oh my gosh. Okay. I love her. Um, I definitely want to play with Cecilia and Noelle a bit today. I want to see what she looks like. She's quite tan. I like it. She has gifts from a ton of people. Who's Clara? <gasps> Clara! Oh, that's her cousin, I think. Yeah, it is. Okay, I hadn't seen what she looked like aged up. I'm like, who the heck is that? But she is a cutie. She and Noelle look quite different, but also quite similar to each other. She has a cute little bunny dress. Oh, I love it. Oh, so cute. Ayaka wants to hang out, but I think we're going to say no. I want to take Pickle Rick to the park with his sisters. Um, Then hopefully that they can both get their motor skill up or their social skill maybe for in the case of Cecilia. But yeah, I'm going to let them all have a bit of a snooze. It might be a bit of a late night at the park. And I'm going to try to take care of these toddler. I think we might actually be able to get Noelle's skill done. I'd be excited to have her as a teen. Unfortunately, Pickle Rick is just too tired to take them to the park today, but that's okay. We have playground equipment right here. Cecilia might be able to come out and play too. Just swing around and stuff. They can kind of hang out together, sort of, and that would probably just be good for them. Uh, the toddlers are actually getting into an okay enough mood. I might get them to actually like spend time together to get up their communication. That'll help their attention. So I'm going to see if we can do that. Just make some funny faces, hug, all that good stuff. Babble, don't bite each other, please. Um, <laughs> uh, just be friendly with each other and hug. So... Hakeem lost 163 followers. Wow. Insane. Okay. I don't know how she's doing fame-wise. I don't want to lose our trait potion perk because that- or not trait potion. Our mood potion perk because that is super helpful. So I'm not actually going to get her to get the mail out. So hopefully we can use those. Maybe it'll help us out. Cecilia got motor skill too. 
And what else does she want to do? Play on a jungle gym while playful. And she, oh, she's actually a social butterfly. They're kind of opposites. Interesting. I think we should have them go to the park. Like, honestly, they're both pretty tired. But just for like a quick little thing, I think it would be okay. I might even just get Cecilia. She's not even having fun on the swings, poor girl. I might get her to work on playing doctor or something instead then. And then as for Noelle, yeah, she can eat and then hopefully they'll be able to make it to the park. Here we are. I'm going to get them to play on the jungle gym together. Unfortunately, their chaperones didn't come. So if anyone weird shows up, we're going to get on out of here. I'm assuming Peggy has no idea this is happening. The little rebels are just going off to play, even though they're not supposed to, because there's no way she would let this happen. Even though she is a little bit reckless and rebellious herself, she wouldn't let her kids just like go off in the middle of the night without a chaperone to the park. Like, uh, yeah, no. So yeah, we're just going to get them to play together. Hopefully they all become playful and then Cecilia can finish off the first bit of her aspiration. That's just, yeah, a fun little thing. Noelle should get up her motor skill while she's here, hopefully. We can get her to work hard tomorrow to make up for any performance she might lose from not doing her homework. But these two are so, so cute. I love them. They're just, yeah, going in the park in the middle of the night being rebels. I love them so much. I feel like these two would be super close to each other because, um, Noelle, I think, yeah, she has a social aspiration, but she's just, like, not very good at it. But... Uh, Cecilia is very good at the social skill and has the motor aspiration. So it's like they are kind of complimenting each other in a way. It's pretty cute. Uh, I don't know if we should get them to stay if Noelle can't even stay awake long enough to get her aspiration done. But no one's around at the moment. Cecilia can stand watch. And I hope that they can get their skills done here. Oh no, this person has come and they're going to talk to us that is not cool annabelle we are leaving see ya because that is not appropriate noelle you can practice at home it's okay honey leave the park right now there's this crazy person here they're at least smart enough to know when it's time to leave but that was kind of creepy also, oh, there's Oleander here. He would have protected us, but that's okay. He always goes out jogging, so he must have been on a really early morning jog. And he probably is glad that he was around in case those girls got into any trouble with that creepy person. But they're on their way home now, and everything will be okay. Peggy is in such a good mood. I'm going to get her to just have a tiny bit of fun, and then she should help the toddlers, I think. Um... Pickle Rick should probably deal with his hygiene in a little bit of a more convenient way. And I'm going to get Noelle to go to the bathroom. And I gave her the Celebrity Serum from her mom. And she can use that to gain skill. So she can gain her motor skill like that. I think that's going to be our best bet. Uh, I should get out some food for these toddlers. And then um, hopefully she'll be able to age up this episode. I definitely am going to go at least until the babies are born. I don't have any name ideas. Please leave comments. I would love some. But I'm just going to go with the vibes as I usually do. You you all are probably familiar with that. Um, oh, I'm my goodness. Why are you not going to the toilet? Oh, I guess just because um, Pig Rick was in the shower. I'm gonna get him to work on video gaming because I don't know if he's ever gonna be in a good enough mood to finish his logic skill, whereas at least video gaming will get his fun up. And it is love day, so I feel like Peggy should go on a date with one of those boys that Pretty Pretty Bloom Bobs made for me, which I am super duper excited for. I don't know if we'll get around to it or not. Uh, I hope so. She's in a good mood and I feel like we could stand to ditch the toddlers for a little bit, but I'm definitely going to try really hard here just to get Noelle's skill done first because... That would be lovely if she could age up today, especially since it's Friday. Okay, her skill is nearly there. I'm so 
just get it done. Yay, she did it. Okay, so now we're going to send her to school and she should be able to age up today if she works hard, which is going to not be fun for her because she's about to pass out. But fortunately, while they're at school, that's not a thing. So <laughs> she hasn't done her homework, so I'm going to get her to study hard. Poor Cecilia, but you know, what's got to be done has got to be done. Pickle Rick, I'm not even going to bother making study hard because he, he just has nothing he has no skills the weekend is gonna be a blessing for us <laughs> i am a little nervous that we haven't got very far in the challenge and all that i think it's about time peggy introduced herself to these lovely boys that pretty pretty poom bobs made for me so there is he J javier i'm a javier i don't know i'm so sorry and sebastian i think it's probably Javier. Okay, Sebastian left. Uh, we're still gonna try to do, let's do a polite introduction maybe. Here we go. Yeah, so Javier, I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing it wrong. If you can comment below how to pronounce it, that would be great. But she's gonna introduce herself. So I guess um, fate has decided for us that we're introducing ourselves to him. We might be able to go on a date today but we don't know when Peggy will be giving birth, so that might be quite the interruption. Cool, cool. So he already is, uh, let's share the love day spirit, why not? He's already quite uh, enthralled with us, I would say. So we're gonna definitely get to know that? him. Oh my, Peggy, your voice. Um, maybe do like a deep conversation. I've moved them in next door. That's why they kind of appeared here when I went to place them, but let's get to know him. He is hot-headed. <laughs> I mean, Peggy can jam with that. He's a bro. Okay. And we could throw some confetti. I think that would be kind of fun. Just just why not? Knock-knock joke. Why not? All that good stuff. Gossip about the neighbors. And Peggy has entered into labor. So, what a lovely first introduction. That's kind of probably not the most ideal but i think we're gonna send her to the hospital this time it's gonna help her with her needs okay we're at the hospital we're not gonna worry about our needs we're just gonna go and check in um oh my goodness i'm glad that we're here because her needs are just gonna shoot up and that'll help us out a lot for tonight uh we're gonna have to age up noel she did get her grades up and I'm excited to give her and Cecilia makeovers for the next episode. Like I said, comment down below baby names. Uh, also, let me know which of the twins you think we should date. Uh, I think Javier's meant to be more of a bad boy. Oh my goodness. Evil check-in receptionist guy. Um, And oh, what's the other one's name? Sebastian's meant to be more of like a cutie sweet kind of guy. I really like him. I'm going to spoil it that's that's the one i'm kind of leaning towards but javi is cool too who says we can't have both there's a nanny you know all that good stuff so i'd love to know who you think we should go for and it is time for peggy to give birth i do not know what i'm gonna name this child slash children i have no clue but we're gonna have to come up with something <laughs> <laughs> they're the child of that one celebrity we could give them like a really weird name i feel like celebrity children always have weird names so that could be on brand don't know what don't know what they're gonna turn out like Alrighty, here we go it's a boy okay so we're gonna give him a weird name i'm gonna go with demetrius it's not that weird but there was a dude named that on stardew valley when i was playing and i'm like that's a cool name so that's what it's gonna be and we did have twins, which I am excited and dreading. So Demetrius and maybe I was going to say like Demeter because yeah, but that's going to be too confusing. So Demetrius and Artemis, I think. Not, oh, not spelled like that. That's for sure. Artemis. There we go. So there, there's our two girl or two girls, two kids, babies. Oh my goodness, I can't speak apparently. We have their birth certificates. Harrison is just like breezing on both his skills while we're here. 
I could just age her up like that, or is this, um, is this Demetrius? Okay. Age him up like that. But yeah, it's time to head back home. We have arrived back at the homestead. It is the weekend, so I'm not going to force the kids to do anything. I definitely want to take care of Artemis here. Just real quick. Is this... Okay, good. They're both in the bassinets. Or actually, it's Demetrius. Okay, Artemis is in the regular bassinet. Oh my goodness. So many people everywhere. We have so many children now. So crazy. Uh, it's Cecilia's birthday, so it's time to get out the coconut cake again. I feel like that sounds like it's like almost like a tradition to get out the coconut cake. It's, just, it's <laughs> Noelle's birthday, but it's, it's really not. But anyway, oh my goodness, Artemis is so much darker than Demetrius. Interesting. That, that's just really interesting because they're twins but I am just gonna get Noelle to age up right away here uh, my battery is dying so she's gonna make a wish our cute little girl she has been such an angel this whole challenge and I am so excited for her to age up so she's got to come over here and do the honors or herself I don't know why the sims are just being so silly today but that's okay let's just let's just find out what noelle's trait is gonna be she is gonna be romantic oh that's cute and then for her aspiration she wants to be an animal lover adorable i love her i do not like that hair but she looks super interesting her father was father winter so she i didn't actually expect her to look like that i thought she'd be more um like have more rounded features but i love her um i'm sorry i just have to pause this so that the babies don't get taken away okay thank goodness she's feeding them but um basically yeah that's the end of the episode please like and subscribe if you enjoyed comment down below anything you like as always and i really hope to see you in the next one goodbye